sometimes you can't really do anything about change. And you can't control it. Like when your parents decide to move to different countries and drag you along with them. Like when you move from elementary school into a private school, high school, college, eventually a job too. Different people face different changes. I don't know about the changes you face. Maybe changing jobs or even getting a better job. Young people like me, who are unable to adapt to change, will suffer anxiety, loneliness, a sense of loss, depression, and erosion of self-confidence. However, part of growing up is learning skills to be happy, even when there are changes beyond your control. I'm a person who knows how to adapt to change. But for me, it just doesn't come as easily. And sometimes, even good changes can be not so good. In fact, a good change happened back this January. It was morning, and everything was peaceful, until I hear, oh my gosh, look outside. Who was being so loud in the morning? And then again, oh my gosh, look outside. Oh, it's my sister. I jump out of bed, I throw open the curtains, and guess what I saw? Our backyard was completely covered in fresh white snow. Suddenly, I was even more excited to go to school. Just imagine flopping into that huge, thick pile of snow. I run down the stairs. Mom, what are we bringing for a snack? Get this, 8.30 a.m., 30 minutes until school starts. Mom is still in her pink pajama sipping tea. Uh, Mom? She looks at me and smiles. We are not going to school. I freeze. Did I do something wrong? Are, are you mad, Mom? She looks at me and smiles again. No, honey, I let you sleep in. It's a snow day. Well, clearly she has no idea. That day was a Wednesday, and Wednesday was the only day of the week where we grade sevens got to go off campus for lunch, which meant that me and my friends were planning to go to Subway, Starbucks, and Chevron. But I guess that's not happening. So I tell my mom, well, we have this super important project due, and we have a deadline. She just looks at me and shrugs as in, I'm sorry, but these things happen. I was so sad and so angry. I stomp back upstairs, I slump at my desk, and I stare at the wall. I knew it was going to be a horrible day. This is who I am. Most people love a snow day. I hate change, especially change of plans. As I stare at my wall, I remember. I know how to evolve. I can be happy even when there are changes beyond my control. I don't know when you first learned about change, but for me, it was in grade one. For some reason, my parents thought it would be a great idea to bring me and my sister all the way from China to Canada. And one thing I had to leave behind was my very, very close friends. Of course, I thought I could just make new friends. How hard could that be? But I would see people walking all around the classroom, and I would want to go up to them and ask them if they wanted to play tag with me or hang out with me. But I only spoke Mandarin back there, and I was scared they'll say something like, I'm sorry, but I don't know what language you're speaking. And that would be very awkward. So I decided I was going to wait for them to come up to me and ask me to be their friend. But after a while, really, I still had no friends. And that's when I realized I was the only new kid and they already had their friends from their previous grades. That was when I learned I had to be proactive at making friends. That snowy Wednesday, staring at my wall, feeling horrible, I remembered I can be proactive at making friends. It might also be really hard if you're in a new environment. Could be a new school, a new job, or a whole new country where you just don't have the vocabulary. 
by grade three, I was struggling. In China, they taught us some very basic English. Apple, banana, juice, this kind of stuff. No grammar. Which made me a very awkward person because I was very talkative and quite extroverted. And while every time the teacher would write a question on the board, I would always be the first one to raise my hand. And I would get it wrong. Either because I didn't understand what question the teacher was trying to ask, or she didn't understand what I was trying to explain through my answer. So every time I raised my hand, I would get the question wrong. So I thought I was just embarrassing myself over and over again in front of my classmates. That was when I decided I wasn't going to raise my hand anymore. But at that moment, I also set a goal for myself. I promised myself that in the future, when I get better at English, I will participate more in class, participate more in public speaking, and take big stages one day. When you're in a new environment, it might be really hard because you have to learn a new language or a new way of communication. But you can do it. Set a goal to learn a new language. When your life turns completely upside down, it's very important to have one more skill. And that is a skill of learning to spend time alone and by yourself. Now, this is anti-social media time. I don't mean for you to run up to your room, grab out your phone, and start going on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You need to put away all of your electronic devices and learn to spend time by yourself without them. Could be reading or writing. For me, it was drawing. I've always been quite passionate about art but I never really had a chance to practice often because in China, they gave out a lot of homework. So I was always busy with homework. But in Canada, they give very, very less homework. In fact, sometimes they don't even give out homework at all, which left me with this huge chunk of free time that I had nothing to do with. So I decided I was going to improve on my drawing skills. It's a way to do something that I love and enjoy time alone. Through this, I got better at drawing and I learned how to spend time alone and by myself. Throughout this experience, I learned many, many things. For example, be proactive making friends. Set a goal to learn a new language. And of course, make it a priority to enjoy time alone. Find a passion, something that you love. That snowy Wednesday, sitting at my desk, feeling completely miserable, I remembered that I know how to adapt to change. And well, I took out a paper, I took out a pencil, and I began to draw. And this is what I came up with. Because at that moment, my friends called me and they told me that since we couldn't go to Starbucks, Chevron, and Subway, we were going to the park. Now, if you think about it, that was another sudden change of plans for me. I was just starting to draw when my friends called me and told me to go to the park with them. Well, this time, instead of not knowing what to do, I knew how to face change bravely. And I decided to spend time with my friends. This leads to my final thought about change. It might be hard at first, but once you be proactive at making friends, once you set a goal to learn a language, and once you made it a priority to enjoy time alone and found a passion, things will get better and you will feel comfortable in that new environment. At the park, there were snow forts, snow angels, and snowball fights. Game on! Thank you.